wasn't able to catch one of the three buses I could have taken to go home and I don't feel like waiting so might as well film this little walk home in the rain because the GoPro is designed for that Ooh, maybe we're gonna get some thunder on on top of it yeah baby that's what I'm hoping to see that's one reason why I came out here but uh, not a uh, not not fast moving cells you know so I'm not gonna get wet we're already getting wet Actually, it's funny. Yesterday I was at my folks' place and it was like 32 degrees Celsius. I went for supper. And for sure, I went for a swim uh, before we had uh, cheeseburgers and the barbecue. So then I thought to myself, oh, wouldn't it be something to bring the, the GoPro in the pool to really test it out that it's submergible? Oh, there's that old Dodge Road Trek van. Yeah, I'm glad you saw that. As a matter of fact, I never see that thing driving. That's cool. And oddly enough, you're going to see another old Dodge van. It's always parked here and it's older. It's a 93 or older Dodge Ram there. Not walking slowly because I don't want to get too wet, even though I probably will. Hopefully it's not going to rain more than this. I love this GoPro, even though, buddy, if you're watching this, my friend who gave this to me, their high school chum, uh, <laughs> it rarely ever turns off. I mean, I turn it off and then like seconds later, it just turns back on. It's just pretty ridiculous. So you know it is what it is but you see how much i love summer or spring into summer is that even if it's raining it's still beautiful everything is lush and grown leaves grass you know it's a beautiful thing oh look at this yeah a lot of people are moving right now this time of year yeah I'm gonna put that in the Mercedes. It's a nice Mercedes too. I think I've seen this car for years in this area. You can't miss it. Most of those Mercedes are either black or dark blue or white. They're not red. They're not wed. Maybe I should go on the other side, eh? See a bit more, uh, a few more trees there, eh? Also, I gotta check this lens, see if it's not too wet. I don't know. Nice color. Look at that blue. Beautiful. The last time I did this actually was a thunderstorm. Go. It's all good, baby, baby. It's all good up in the hood. It is practically a hood. The more graffiti, the more it's a hood. See how that's how it goes. It's nothing new. And look at this one right here. We just walked past me. There you go. Talk about trashy. That's the style now to look like trash. Thank God that's not everybody like that. And now we're gonna go from Mailwind Street to my street. Kivity Street. Looking forward to getting home. Smoke some root. Come on, lightning. Come on, thunder. Thunder. I was born in the middle of a railroad track. Thunder. <laughs> and I knew there was no turning back. Thunder. Yeah, man. Thanks again to Jack for this uh, hat, by the way. You want to send me something transportation related? Uh, just uh, leave me a comment there, or you can just send me an email at eltmcfall at hotmail.com. Good old Mustang. Yeah, man. V6. Sequential taillights. Here's my street. Oddly enough, a lot of these places, look, they've been redone like this. Like, they're really, like, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Like, they're, they're, they're rigged up, like, like, redone like townhouses, a lot of them. It's weird. This is uh, something that's been really common in my area, but especially in this block of my street. Look, all the, the new window frames, modern window frames, all black, the doors are all black. You know, look at these ones here, nice doors. It looks like friggin' uh, Outremont. Outremont or something. Yeah. Three blocks from my place. Did I put my phone back? Did I put my phone in my pocket the right way? Oh, no, I didn't. That's not good. Shit. I had the friggin' exposed, uh... Oh, frig, I had the friggin' uh, hole for the... Headphones jack exposed to the rain, that's great.
Any good junk here? No. Whoa, daddy. Yeah, I really uh, went out quite a while, but I didn't really find anything amazing. Got a few responses. That's always great. Look at this place. Talk about redone completely. And then you're going to see a place here. Maybe this is the guy who's got the freaking Tesla parked in the back, you know? Like, you could afford a Tesla, you could afford to live elsewhere than here where poor, poor people are. I got a problem with this, you know? Uh, you know, for a while when I lived here for years, I didn't really get it why people were protesting against condos being built here. And, but yeah, the fact of the matter is, after 11 years, man, people are starving out here, you know? So, uh, the rich can afford to live anywhere they want. Why the hell are they living here for? Because it's near downtown and it's hip and it's turning into the next freaking plateau. I already noticed a lot of French from France living here now. You know, they're not stupid, they know. It's still one of the areas that's sort of affordable, you know, look at this place. See, this is what I'm talking about, look, it looks like it's all redone. Jesus Christ, you think it's bright enough in there? You can fucking light up a football field. Look at it, here's another place here. Right? But check out this place coming here. You, this would have been a shoebox house, you know, because it shapes like a shoebox. No, look at that. This is totally an architect who built this. Right? Guy's rich, man. Like I said, he probably live in Beaconsfield or whatever, and he lives here. Built a house here. Yeah, you know, well, you know what they say, you don't get rich by spending money. I gotta clean this lens again now. Man, look at me. I never... <laughs> never even would own a freaking waterproof camera, let alone a freaking camera that fits in the palm of my hand, practically. I'm like a spy. It's really something else, you know? So... No wonder a lot of people are not too comfortable when they see me. It's not just because I'm tall and I have this don't fuck with me look. But it's also because of the fact that, yeah, they probably see me with a camera all the time. They think I'm taking pictures, I'm filming. I'm doing my funky thing, baby. You know? So, look at that, eh? Yeah, well, at least it's not raining harder than this, but it's still raining pretty good. All right, we got the green light, baby. Yeah. High green. Whoa, daddy. Yeah, as long as my shoes don't get soaked all inside, it's fine, because uh, I don't exactly have a friggin' hair dryer or something, you know? Right? Look at that, not a taxi in sight. That's another thing that's awesome about this camera. There's so no shaking whatsoever with it. There's no vibration. Even if I'm running or walking, it doesn't matter. It doesn't shake. It's amazing. Now, these buildings here, it's cool because it looks old school, right? It looks like an old building, but it's not really old at all. I'm sure it was probably built in the last like 10, 15 years. All right, almost home. Daddy's almost home, Gloria. Gloria, hey, what's for dinner down there? Qu'est-ce qu'il y a pour souper là? Oh, 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 oh boy. That's gonna cost. But you know, when it's hot like this and humid, you know, the rain is, it's fun is that the rain isn't really cold, it's refreshing. This used to be a train track, by the way, all here. If you haven't watched my older videos, this used to be all train track here. This would go all the way up, curve up, all the way past, going uh, across Ontario Street, diagonally to Pina Boulevard and beyond. It's all industry. It's a CN track. I even saw a freaking film, somebody filmed from a locomotive back in the 70s on that track. That blew my mind. Me being always interested in history, especially the transportation history. You know, I'm almost home there. Actually, I'm not going to show you where I live, so just to keep some kind of anonymity since my subscriber count is going up, you know. So we're going to end this here in a minute or two. And one of the reasons why, of course, I live here, all the trees. All the beautiful trees, man. Simple as that. I think I might put this video on priority just because it's different from the other walking videos where the weather's always favorable. Boy, the rain did not lighten up, eh? I'll tell you right now, look at these cars living here. Right? They've got Audis and... Look, there's the opposite. No freaking Cavalier. It's like worthless. You know. Neighborhood's changing quick, man. Yeah, when I moved here almost 11 years ago, you would never saw, like, expensive European cars like that. So. All right, guys. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. You want to support the channel, find me on Patreon. Elton McFall. Thanks for watching. Uh, take care. Be well. Be safe. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.